sometimes with 3D printing, it really sucks when you got to clean these parts off, you know? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Canadian Maker Project. My name here is Ron. I am the host and, well, the guy that tells you everything that I know about 3D printing. And today I decided to do something totally different, which is going to be consistent of me being here. And we're going to go over to the other area. But this is going to be handheld, so I'm going to warn you guys. That there's going to be some shaky vision in this. But what I'm doing is I'm installing these. What are these? Well, if you have a CR10, you're probably familiar with this stuff. This is known as V-slot covers. This stuff is flexible. You can easily put it in anywhere and then cut it for size. Well, I was looking at the Ender 3. I was thinking, could I 3D print these? And apparently, there's tons of them out there on the net. Here, let's go over to... Uh, Thingiverse, and I'll show it to you right now. Okay, so we're in Thingiverse right now. And all you have to do is just look up V-slot. V-slot covers. And they're there. The ones I'm using is this one right here. This is the uh, Ender 3 VSOC cover. Thingiverse number is 3379068. Remember, this will be in the description down below. So remember, read the descriptions. So what is this? Well, you print out the parts that you need for your printer, and they have them all sized out with this great diagram here. You know, let me bring it up so you guys can see it better. So it tells you what size and which ones you're going to have to print in the file itself is actually set up with the file with the ones that you want. So with that being done, I went over and I printed out these printed out six of them. I'm sorry, eight of them to be precise. So two of them have already been installed. I'm still got these still to clean up, but the idea is that you're going to put this in your V slot facing with the small side facing up bottom side facing down, will slide directly into the slot and then be easily to put in. So I've already installed two of them. I was just uh, installing the second one where I kind of filmed a little bit of me working on it. So you're going to hear me with a ball peen, with a hammer hammering this stuff in. So the reason I am hammering these in is I made a mistake. <laughs> I sized these wrong. So when I programmed uh, Cura, I accidentally set it for 105%, which in turn made them too big. I'm also using my 0.6 nozzle to, the, to uh, print these out on. Probably if I point them in a 0.4, it may be better. So what we're going to do is I'm going to print out one of them I do know that I can print out on the Ender. We're going to see how it looks. And uh, we're going to use the same filament. The filament I'm using right now is Coex. It's one of the mystery rules. I got this off of um, through the Edge of Tech. If you haven't seen the Edge of Tech, definitely check out his channel. He has a lot of great videos. Mostly they're uh, where Hot Makes goes into play. But uh, who knows? Maybe this might make a Hot Makes video. I don't know. But I really do it in, like, these parts are insanely good. So let's go print it on a 4 millimeter nozzle, and we'll see how that looks. Hold handing, but uh, my uh, other device decided to fail. But here you go. This is how they look on the 4.0 nozzle with the uh, layer height sent to 2.6. It turned out really well. Beautiful back, but as you can see, you can see like there's an infill in there, which doesn't bother me too much. I think that adds a little bit of more class to the unit. So as you can see, they easily fit into slots. Now, I was hand holding and doing this at the same time is not the easiest. So as you can see, they slide right on in, with no problem to the V slot. As you can see, I've installed the other ones here. And here already, and that was just by undoing these two screws. 
and uh, putting them in slots and then moving the top rack back on. When putting on your end caps, make sure you grab them and you have the tops, these little tabs pointing up and down. Because if you don't, then when you push this all the way, it won't match. And then when you insert the second one, which I have printed right here, they come in two parts. So you got to print these two separately. And as soon as I get this in the slot, like I said, doing this with one hand. So it's a little tricky. There we go. Put that in. Grab the cap, put the cap on, and they're not pushing them out on either end, making these one pop out. Now, one thing I will say about the design that kind of irked me was right here. This has no slot cover because I need to print a special, um, because the guy who designed this never thought about this side. This side doesn't need it, but that side is, I'm going to have to figure out something to do with that. Also, I was thinking of printing one in here, but just haven't done it. But here's the ones that I printed after hammering them in. They went in really nicely. They do stick up a little. There's a little bit of um, shifting in the print when I originally did these. But a little bit of sanding and a little bit of um, burning off the access turned out pretty well. I'm actually happy with these. So it's been a few days after with installing and all this what would be some things i would have changed well i would have planned them all laying flat if i could on the bed because i have a flex bed it makes it a lot easier to take the prints off and i would have done it at maybe 100 percent infill rather than at the 20 percent infill but actually i don't mind that look that they have but who knows i might go around i might go back and change that and reprint them another thing that i would do and I still have to do it, is print another set of four. And instead of me um, taking into like Tinker Cat or something like that and cutting a hole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print it, take my drill, drill where the hole should be, and then, or mark it, and then drill it with a drill press, and then put the slot back in and see if I can fit the screw. And if the screw head fits inside that hole, then that's perfect. Then I got the design, then I got it knocked down. And then I might just take the time to figure out the dimensions and punch that into Tinkercad and then re-put out the print. But all in all, I've been, I'm very happy with the way this looks. Uh, sure, yeah, it's a little bit off-putting with having just no red on the other sides going in the picture that I found on, if you look on the website with the links down below, by the way, to get to that link on Thingiverse, look at it, make your decision. If you want to print it, there's many other different types of e-slot, but what's interesting about this one is it's all measured and ready to go. And it just took boom, 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 done. If you like this idea, I implore you to hit that subscribe button right now. Remember, when you ring the bell, select all. Because when you don't select all, then you don't get any of the content. It's really buggy. I know it's another step they're making us do. I don't like it myself. But to get you guys to know when we go live, ring that bell for notifications. Also, if you liked what I did, you can hit the like button. You can also leave a comment down below. I love reading comments, and I do reply to them as much as I can. You know, once in a while, we do. I do get behind, but uh, you'll see that I've either read it, if I liked it, I had nothing else to comment on, I'll just uh, give it a like, So or hearted it, I believe is the uh, term they use. Your comments been hearted, I think is what it says. I, I forget what it says on YouTube. But anyways, once again... If you have a printer that you've done already, you've done this type of, you know, making it look nice, hey, why don't you hit me up and let me know? Uh, we have a Twitter account. Uh, just uh, message me at Canadian Maker PR and uh, post your picture up on uh, on Twitter. If you have an Instagram account, hey, why don't you tell me you have a picture on your Instagram account? I'll check it out and I'll give you guys uh, what I think about it. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of uh, fun 
and a lot of challenges making this video because I learned a lot. It's, it's surprising what you can learn uh, when you're doing videos like this because you just find stuff and you're just going, hmm, how could I make this better next time? Well, anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have fun 3D printing. And remember, if you're going, well, you know what? I don't know if it's for me. Give it a shot. Just try it. You never know. Anyways, guys, catch you on the next one.